Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ask the CEO with Avraham Gattach. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a very special guest. She's the Senior Vice President and CTO of Accentus, an information technology firm specializing in cybersecurity and compliance, secure cloud and DevSecOps, and information technology retail and integration services. As part of this discussion, we will share how their partnership with Microsoft, their use of Azure, and the Azure Marketplace have empowered them to scale and grow their business. It is my pleasure to welcome Rupangi Kidakia. Welcome, Rupangi. Thank you, Abraham. Thank you for having me on. It is a pleasure having you. So, Rupangi, let's talk about healthcare. The healthcare industry is in the midst of its digital transformation with many enterprise healthcare companies moving their mission critical applications to the cloud. As you know, healthcare is one of the most regulated industries in the United States, if not the world. How do healthcare organizations that leverage cloud stay up to date with compliance? That's a great question. You know, a lot of a lot of industry right now has a lot of regulation. Healthcare, HIPAA, high trust, all of those are very important. But if you think about it, think about it from this perspective. Think about security. Um, I think good compliance, any regulations, whether it's HIPAA or high trust or whatever ones, or even PCI, which a lot of the healthcare industry has to go into, has to have like three things. One, for good compliance. One, they have to have good security. They have to have good um, monitoring and good governance. So if you think about in the cloud, how can you get to that point? It's the same way you would in your own data, data on-premise data centers. However, the cloud can provide you with a few other tools. So what I would say is the most important thing is do the right thing that you would within your own environment, but look at the services that the cloud actually offers to augment what you need to do. So for example, when you're looking at it from good governance, you know, what is good governance? Good governance is can you actually have repeatable process so that you know what your risks are at any given time? The cloud actually, in, in what, what I have seen is cloud can actually give you a lot of good services that helps you automate some of those types of ways of looking at um, how do you automate so that you have good monitoring. So monitoring the second one. Do you have an ability to monitor at any given time what your security stance or what your um, what your compliance stance is? Because you know at the end of the day, compliance on you know for its own sake is not enough. You have to have good security. And that is going to be critical. And then the third thing is the actual um, auditing uh, abilities. So if you can audit at any given time, and when I when I talk about audit, I mean, can you know exactly where your weak points are? So for example, right now with with what's going on in, in you know in the world with the pandemic, um, you may have a company that needs to ramp up very quickly. So how do you make sure that your governance and your compliance stance go, uh, you know, is completely aligned to your ability to ramp up? Cloud has all sorts of great benefits of being able to, you know, to scale up to what your needs are. And can you make sure that you're monitoring your security and your ability to govern all of your environment? can actually scale up at the same time. And what I have seen is in, in, in good cloud services, you can do that because you can automate anytime you add another server to your uh, environment, you can actually automate the fact that you have good governance in place. So compliance on itself is important, but you should always look at you know, how can you sustain that security posture that you have? How can you automate as much as you can? And then at the end of the day, do you have good governance practices so that you can do good risk management? And this, you know, this is a great point uh, that you bring up. I mean, uh, governance and security go hand in hand. So Absolutely. let's delve into the security aspect a little bit. As you know, the cybersecurity industry is currently experiencing a job shortage of about three and a half million people. 
And unfortunately, we're also hearing about hospitals and healthcare facilities being shut down by ransomware attacks and hacks. And unfortunately, now that's been exacerbated with uh, the current public health crisis. When I think about cloud, um, wouldn't the cloud make healthcare providers more vulnerable? I mean, um, you know, your stuff is out there on the internet, subjected to uh, more subjected to hacks than if it were safe and secure inside your organization. How can these healthcare providers and healthcare organizations stay up to date with cybersecurity? Well, you know, you make a good point, but think about it this way. Um, as you said, there's, there is a major shortage of good security professionals because it's getting more and more complicated. But think about it this way. You have a good, uh, you have a large cloud service provider. They don't only have you as a customer. So they have hundreds of thousands of customers, if not millions of customers. And what they're doing is they are actually putting in foundational security practices that are best in, best in breed across their entire infrastructure. So now in your data center, you have to have all of those skill sets required to secure your infrastructure. Now, what if you could actually take that part away from your security practices and, and have a cloud service provider who is putting in that best of breed security practices for all of their customers when it comes to infrastructure. So they're patching, you know, patching policies are across the board. Their um, abilities to, you know, make sure that they have the right protections in how they are protecting their data centers, making sure it, it's not easy for the bad guys, which is so unfortunate right now with having people actually take advantage of this uh, situation and still have ransomware issues in the healthcare industry and so on. But if you did not have to deal with your infrastructure security, then you can really focus on those mission critical applications. So now your ability to have the folks that you need uh, who can be good application security um, experts is, is a little bit more manageable. It's still going to be very difficult. What I have found is in a lot of our customers, um, they're having a hard time just finding all the right security skills because think about it this way. You need security professionals who are going to have to have a good understanding of healthcare. You're going to have to have a good understanding of cloud. You're going to have to have a, a good understanding of your applications that you're actually building. And then on top of that, they need to have a good understanding of risk management and security architecture, and then also your compliance issues. So security professionals, if you could offload some of those requirements to a cloud provider in these times, it may actually be of a benefit. So that's where I think that, you know, some of the issues really can be mitigated it by using the, some of the larger cloud service providers. And that's a really great point because the large cloud service providers can take advantage of the economies of scale, like you said, yes. um, having hundreds of thousands of companies, not just that one, they've got the budget to hire the right the right personnel, the, the beefed up security, which many organizations, especially the smaller ones, might not even have. And on that point, some of these larger cloud service providers actually have environments that can help you with your compliance needs. So, for example, there, they, you know, there are uh, cloud service providers that will um, ensure that, you know, your environment um, can uh, is HIPAA compliant and will not allow you to do things that can get you really out of compliance. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're going to ensure that your applications are uh, compliant, but at least their environment, you can do the right auditing, you can do the right security practices, and they will allow you to make sure that the um, partners that you use and the uh, services that you use will keep you in compliance and in good security. So Rupangi, your company exempted recently launched a new transactable offer on the Azure marketplace to address many of these challenges. How would a healthcare organization use your solution with Azure? 
Sure. So um, Accenture's uh, healthcare cloud security stack uses some of the uh, industry's leading security services, uh, such as Trend Micro Deep Security, Logarithm, and we have our own executive dashboard that can tell you, you know, um, that can give you a really good unified threat management solution. One of the most important things a cloud offering like ours can provide you with is that continuous monitoring piece. So at any given time, you will know where you are out of compliance, out of security, and what your priorities should be. Because everything can't be a priority, but you need to make sure that you can actually know what you need to focus on. Um, what we found is, you know, with the same issues that uh, we talked about earlier, if you don't have all the security expertise in-house, then you want to offload as much as you can and also focus on what you do want to focus on, and that is your crown jewels, your actual mission critical application. So if you can have good monitoring, good compliance services, and an ability to know exactly where you are when it comes to that compliance, then that's where you would want to go. And then using Azure has been great because there's so many services through Microsoft Azure and it's cost effective and it allows you to focus your resources, not just your money resources, but really your people resources on actually those applications. Because at the end of the day, that's your competitive advantage. Regardless of what part of the healthcare industry you're in, your mission critical applications and how well they are managed, how well you can, how quickly you can expand, scale up, um, or scale down on, in times when you need to. Those are the things that you should be focusing on. And if you, if there are services that can offer you good security that will always allow you to know exactly what your security stance is, what your compliance stance is, then those are the types of investments that are the best to do. Now, how can people find out more about the Accented Solution Set and procure it on the Azure Marketplace? Uh, we have a bit.ly URL. It's https colon slash slash bit dot ly um, slash 3a1wrzy. Awesome. I'm going to post that in the show notes so people can just click on that and get right to it. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Great. So, Rapangi, how has partnering with Microsoft helped Accenture scale and grow your business? That's a great question. Um, you know, one of the most important things about partnering with a company like Microsoft is the fact that it can really help simplify how you provide an offering, not only to the healthcare industry, but to any business that requires security. As a security technology provider, we want to make sure that we can take advantage of a lot of what Microsoft already has to offer. So, for example, you know, they have good security services already built in, so we can build on top of that. And that can really provide us with an advantage because we're not having to provide such a customized solution that it can't be integrated into a business's application environment. Uh, being a Microsoft partner and using built-in in those built-in Microsoft security services, it, it makes perfect sense to us. Um, these integrated solutions, they really do empower your business and our business uh, to accelerate that transformation. So we can really focus on those things that really are more on uh, monitoring, on compliance, on automation, um, and making sure that we can use best-of-breed technologies within a very solid environment like Azure. Awesome. And how could people find out more about the Microsoft partnership opportunities for healthcare partners? They can go to healthcareindexp at microsoft.com. Awesome. And Rupangi, how do people connect with you? We have a couple of different ways you can connect with us. Our URL is accented.com, X E N T. IT.com, um, or you can reach us on Twitter or LinkedIn at, at, at Accented, X-E-N-T, IT, or via email at maazure at Accented.com. Awesome. And, and I'll post that as well to the show notes so people can get easy access to that. Sure. Rupangi, do you have any parting words of wisdom that you'd like to share with the audience? 
I would say, you know, compliance for the sake of compliance is not the best approach for any industry, and especially in the healthcare industry. And I understand healthcare, you have all sorts of compliance, all sorts of regulatory bodies who are uh, making sure that, uh, we're, that you're doing all the right things. But good security practice will always get you to good compliance. So focus on good security, whether it's making sure you have a good foundation of uh, IT security practices, making sure that you have folks on your team who understand good risk management, and they will get you to good compliance if they can get you to a good foundational security, which requires you to have good security architecture. It requires you to ensure that you have a great balance between doing innovation and risk management. And those are not counterintuitive processes. You've got to be able to say, hey, you know what? Innovation is going to be our biggest business initiators, but that does not mean that we don't do good risk management. Because just like in your business, risk management is the way to go forward. And that would be my parting words. Awesome. Rupangi, thank you so much for sharing your time and your wisdom. I really enjoyed having you on the show. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you so much.